Hello, channel. We pack up and take a trip to Walmart for the Walmart exclusive WWE Superstars Series 6, The Beast from the East, Bam Bam Bigelow, and Mr. Perfect. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another WWE Superstar Series 6 unboxing and review and today on the channel we got the Walmart exclusive Mr. Perfect and Bam Bam Bigelow but for all your wrestling figure needs that are not Walmart exclusives make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% got to get a deal out there and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. And Superstars Series 6, one of those one lines that is just really uh, crazy. Yeah, crazy, I guess, is the best word. Is we've all struggled trying to find these. A lot of this set I have purchased from Paul Mart Store, one of those other stores out there. A lot of people have pulled off eBay. Uh, and everywhere but the place they're supposed to be, which is, of course, Walmart. However, I will say this line hit pretty hard in my area. Your area may be similar to mine as a lot of the Walmarts seem to get these all in the same day. So uh, going between these Walmarts, trying to find the ones for my collection, as you guys know, I'm a member of the Double Up Club on these, so I get a loose one and a mint on card one. Still on the hunt for an unpunched Mr. Perfect, but this is my opener Mr. Perfect that we're talking about here today. But definitely a struggle to find these. Definitely a frustrating line. I know there's a lot of collectors that would still like to collect these. They just said the juice was not worth the squeeze. It was not worth the hassle. And that is really unfortunate because these are very fun figures and a very fun toy line to collect in the Masters Universe Origin style, as we do know. A lot of crossover with the He-Man collectors for customs and for putting these in their he-Man universe. So definitely an interesting line, but definitely a uh, very frustrating line really at the end of the day. But let's dive into it. Let's dive into these. And I'm going to start with the old beast from the east. I'm going to start with old Bam Bam Bigelow. One of my favorite big men of all time. Absolutely loved him when I was a really little kid. And then, of course, his time in WCW, Japan, ECW. Just one of the all-time great big men. And then, of course, we know all about Lawrence Taylor, main event of WrestleMania as well. So I'm here for more Bam Bam Bigelow figures. Get us that uh, purple flame suit for Bam Bam. An interesting Bam Bam on this one where you do got the shirt with the flames. But a bit of a two-in-one Bam Bam, I do believe, if I remember correctly, from WrestleMania where we saw these for the first time. We get the Superstars logo at the top, of course, the beautiful kind of comic background, very LJN-esque, very throwback edition. As we do know, the packaging on these, they do line up, they do connect, which I think is really cool. So if you get Hulk Hogan and Roddy Piper, who we will unbox on this channel as well, uh, you line all those four up with these two, everything connects together. So it does look very, very nice. But definitely cool. Bam, bam. You got a little glamour shot there as well. And then on the back, you get a little bit of a blurb action. And then once again, like I said, the cross sell, UPCs, warnings, all that kind of fun stuff. Let's see what it says about the old beast from the east. The beast from the east, greetings from Asbury Park. If you play with fire, you're going to get burned. That's exactly what's going to happen if you mess with uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. And Bam Bam, when I think of Bam Bam, I always think of him throwing Spike Dudley over the uh, outside the ring, giving one of those into the crowd. Just an amazing, see you later, an amazing spectacle back in the day just seeing that. It was just absolutely wild. You just didn't see stuff like that. So to see old Spike Dudley getting thrown around like a rag doll was just absolutely something crazy. And uh, just something I'll never forget still to this day. Now we do get a little parchment paper bag here. Now I think this is a first for this line. I believe the other times they were plastic baggies. So uh, the more you know, keep a track of all this here. There it is, hands out. See you later. Goodbye right off the screen, how about that? We get the old beast from the east right there. Old Bammer looking good. He's locked in at the feet. He's locked in at the hands as well. Definitely crazy here. And uh, one thing that we're seeing in Superstar Series 6 is the use of variants. Now, we're going to have a chase variant or a chase, however you want to classify it as. The Hulk Hogan, there is a blue, that is the chase, then there is the red boots. So blue and red boots for the Hulkster. Then underneath, he's got either the red gear on or the blue gear on. Not a huge fan of a chase in this line. See you later, goodbye. Uh, I just, I'm just not a fan of it. I know some are, some that like the thrill, the hunt, and the collectability. 
I'm just not a big fan of it. I feel like uh, this is a line we didn't need chases for, but we'll see what happens. I got to track down the blue Hulkster, so hopefully sooner rather than later I can find those somewhere. Now let's dive into this, though. Let's dive into Bam Bam Bigelow, and let's dive in where we always start with the accessories. That is going to be the hands in this case here. Bammer came to fight. He's got two Fists of Fury right out of the package. He's ready to throw down at a moment's notice. And we do get two gripping hands for Bam Bam Bigelow here. Of course, very elite style hands, as we do know. And then we do get the gripping hands. They're not gripping hands, I guess. Splayed out hands. Splayed out hands or, uh, you know, throwing Spike Dudley hands if you need to. <laughs> got that going on here, too. So extra sets of hands, all the hands you could ever want for old Bam Bam Bigelow here in Superstars Series 6. But now we dive into the figure itself, and I guess we'll start at the head for Bam Bam Bigelow. Very interesting, as Bam Bam's head is always interesting to look at, with those flames uh, right up there tattooed on. Just always really cool. Definitely makes you stick out, there's no doubt about it. There was no missing Bam Bam Bigelow. There was no confusing Bam Bam Bigelow with those tattoos, and they do look very nice, very vibrant on his head. I'm definitely here for that. Then you got a face that you know it's Bam Bam. Once again, you got that big beard going on, kind of that grumpy face look, a little bit of uh, movement of the eyebrows. He's angry, he's mad, he's ready to he's ready to destroy somebody if he needs to. There's no doubt about it. Looking good there. And then we get down to the shirt. Got a nice, beautiful, soft, good shirt on this one. Absolutely do love it. The flame effect looking very, very nice. Definitely a nice, soft, good. I'm here for that. Then you get down to the tights, all in black, a little bit of flames on the side. Get the boots there looking good with the white shoelaces. Now this uh, shirt is removable, and that's where we get into the two-in-one aspect of this Bam Bam Bigelow figure. So how do you want to display your Bam Bam Bigelow? You know what I say, why not both? You got to buy two of them, display both ways here, but you do get the flame effect going on. Now whenever I see Bam Bam wearing this, I always think of his time like in Japan. He wore this a lot in Japan, if I remember right. At least that's where my memory does go from that. Uh, I remember him fighting Kimo in the cage. And if you're an old school UFC MMA guy like myself, oh, Kimo, the supreme fighting machine. You didn't want to mess with Kimo. And uh, Kimo and Bam Bam uh, crossed paths once upon a time over there in Japan. Look that up. It's probably on YouTube somewhere. But definitely a different look for Bammer, but not an iconic one. The iconic is the flame outfit for sure. I guess this is technically a flame outfit, but this isn't the flame outfit we probably think of first, at least for me. But I do like that they gave us this, and it's a really nice way to get an extra sale as well, putting that old business hat on here. Definitely looking good. No smudges, no paint problems, or anything with the flames. Now, Bam Bam Bigelow, of course, has more tattoos than just on his head. You got the forearm tattoo, you got the bicep tattoo on both sides. So we do got his tattoos looking good there. And of course, articulation, his arm's going to go all the way around. Elbow bend, single jointed, hands removable, back four side to side, waist articulation, the big old splits if you need them. Get a little single jointed uh, knee, back and forth side to side, boot cut, ankles back four side to side, head of course back four side to side. And one thing we do love of course about these He-Man style figures, everything is removable. You can take anything off the body parts, mix and match, switch them up, do whatever you need to do at the end of the day. And of course, he does fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand, use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%, but old Bam Bam Bigelow looking good. And I like that they gave us Bam Bam Bigelow in this line because he is a favorite big man of mine, and he feels kind of right in this line as well. He's got the throwback. Of course, we know he had an old school Hasbro. He had an old school LJN. Why shouldn't he have a retro figure? And I think the day is finally here, and I'm here for it all day long. And another one I'm for, Mr. Perfect. If I had some gum, I'd give it the old gum spit right now. Mr. Perfect, one of the greatest performers of all time, one of my all-time favorites, and I've said it before, and I'm probably going to say it again, one of the most disappointing wrestling angles in history for me was when he joined the Four Horsemen, and then like two weeks later, uh, turned his back on the Horsemen, slammed the cage, all that kind of stuff. That was one of the only times in my huge wrestling fandom where I just kind of groaned, and I was like, man, they really had something. I really felt the Horsemen were going to ride again, no pun intended, with Mr. Perfect. I felt like he was a great fit. He was just like firing on all cylinders. Man, I was here for that, and the, the rug just got pulled out from under me. I'm still kind of hot about it, as you can see. It still sticks at the top of my brain, even to this day. So definitely a, a sad time to be a Mr. Perfect fan, but there was a lot of great times before that. There's no doubt about it. And Mr. Perfect, another guy, definitely deserves to be in this line. Didn't have an LJN back in the day, but he definitely had some Hasbros that we all played with, or if you're of age, I guess. Uh, but definitely like him here in the retro style figure. Love the singlet going on. We get the old Intercontinental title with him as well. 
Definitely here for that. Same kind of packaging as Bam Bam Bigelow. I'm still on the hunt for a min on card unpunched one. I'm hoping I can get that in the next week or two. We'll see what happens there. I guess stay tuned to weekly purchases on this very YouTube channel. On the back, Mr. Perfect. And we got to a little bit of blurb. Of course, the cross sell we saw earlier, UPC's warnings, all that fun stuff. Let's see what it says about our friend, Mr. Perfect. Series 6, remember here. Uh, nobody beats Mr. Perfect. Nobody. And then it says Perfect Plex. So well, there you go. It's playing all the Mr. Perfect hits, really, at the end of the day. Of course, you remember his great matches from uh, the WWF, WWE, whatever you want to call it. Uh, back in the day as well against Bret Hart and, uh, of course, the Texas Tornado. Never forget that one. There he is in the plastic prison. Going to have to cut him out as well. Looks like he's locked in all over the place. Just like old Bam Bam Bigelow was. Locked in at the hands. Of course, they don't want Mr. Perfect going anywhere. They don't want him spitting out that gum at any any point in time. And I do a lot of business travel up to Minnesota, and I'm always across the street. I've, I've mentioned this. I'm a broken record. I've mentioned this before as well. I always see the, few, uh, the uh, cemetery. See you later. Mr. Perfect is buried at. So I always kind of nod my head in some respects as I'm over at that uh, one right there. But we'll get into that in a second here. Let's let's get this out of the uh, parchment paper. Let's see what's going on. I'm assuming, just like Bam Bam Bigelow, we're probably loaded up with some extra hands. And geez, hard to get out of this parchment paper here. This is some tricky parchment paper. There we go. There it is. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the clock. Future Kyle breaking in right here with a little bit of a mess up by me. I know, shocking. But there was a towel with Mr. Perfect. Remember I said in the video, man, I'm surprised there's not a towel with this, as I thought there was. So I thought, right, I just missed it. The problem is, instead of a plastic packaging for the accessories, it's a parchment paper package. And this blends in, and it is a much smaller towel than the traditional Mattel's towels. So it blends in with that package. So I gotta give a special shout out to good Patreon brother Mac out there. Patreon members get these videos early. He did see this video early. Said, hey, hold on, there is a towel. Luckily, it wasn't garbage day. I knew exactly the garbage I had this in. Went in there, and lo and behold, there was a towel. So I wanted to break in with that. Goodbye off the screen. And we got two gripping hands with the old thumb up, the old classic He-Man style right out of the package. And then we get the two splayed out hands like we saw with Bam Bam Bigelow. And then we get two fists of fury for Mr. Perfect. When the chips are down, he's throwing a punch if he needs to. So there you go. And now we're going to dive into Mr. Perfect himself looking absolutely perfect. Let's take this belt off and look at this. Beautiful Intercontinental title belt. Absolutely love this one, of course. When I think of the Intercontinental title belt, this is the design I think of. Everybody has their belt designs they think of. This is what I think of the Intercontinental title. Loved it when they had some colorful flavor, flavor to it. Of course, the white one, very iconic, and some of the Ultimate Warrior ones, as we know. But the classic black is pretty tough to beat. You got the blue glo globe inside there, heavyweight wrestling champion, Intercontinental, WWE, of course, throughout. Just a beautiful title belt. Definitely here for that. Like to get these in the Superstars lines as well. And now we get old Mr. Perfect here, and this singlet is a little bit interesting. It almost looks like... Uh, some ant. It's like an ant at the pool. She's at the pool and her swimsuit's kind of riding up on her. He's kind of got that look there, especially in the crotch area. <laughs> definitely an interesting look, but uh, definitely cool to get the soft goods singlet. They could have easily painted this on, as we do know. But we do get the green, the neon electric green going on against the black on the back. So very cool, of course, for Mr. Perfect. We all love Mr. Perfect and his iconic singlets. And the singlet is going to be removable. He does have tights on underneath. So if you want like an AWA Kurt Henning, uh, you could do that. You could pull that all off. I guess you do got the Mr. P on the boots that kind of throws that off a little bit. But he does got that there. He does got two black knee pads going on looking good. Painted on white wrist tape on each arm. Of course, articulation can be the exact same as Bam Bam Bigelow. It is the classic Masters Universe Origins articulation, so we're used to that for sure. Uh, but the soft goods singlet is pretty nice. Definitely the same material that we got out of Bam Bam Bigelow as well. Looking good. But then getting up to the head on Mr. Perfect. I really do think this looks like Mr. Perfect. I think if somebody sees this and you're a wrestling fan, you would know who this is. Got that kind of yellowish uh, hair. I guess a very bright yellow hair like Mr. Perfect always did have. Got the chin going there, the eyes, uh, the nose, the ears, like any other human being would have. And he's got a little bit of the curl going up at the top of the hair. Definitely looking interesting here as far as Mr. Perfect goes. It almost kind of looks like uh, he does kind of remind you, maybe it's the yellow hair, kind of reminds you of He-Man in a lot of ways too. It almost feels like you could put this on a He-Man body and uh, it might work. And He-Man's kind of perfect in his own way, so maybe it fits. Maybe he should be He-Man in that universe here. 
Uh, I would have liked to have seen a towel accessory, but obviously we got the Intercontinental title, we got the extra hands. A towel accessory is very iconic for Mr. Perfect, as we do know. So that would have been something kind of cool here. But at the end of the day, this is still pretty cool to get Mr. Perfect in this line. And the Superstars line is always an interesting one as you try to think, okay, who could they make next? Who could they make? And it's like you forget a guy like Mr. Perfect. You forget a guy like Bam Bam Bigelow. So when it does come, you're like, oh, I should have thought of that. Why didn't I think of that? So definitely fun, keeping us on our toes a little bit with this line. This line, no signs of slowing down. We do know we got Captain Lou, Vader around the corner as well. So we're going to have some more of these. I just hope, and I think I can speak for everybody out there, we just hope the distribution gets a little bit better on these, that every store gets them, they get it all figured out, and they get things going. And honestly, it kind of feels that way right now, at least me hitting the stores. The, the wave with the rock and Macho Man is out there pretty heavy. And then we get these guys. Uh, things like the, the tide is turning a little bit. So hopefully that is the case. Hopefully everybody's got a chance to get these uh, like Mattel and everybody else would like them to have, of course. Now, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? What do you know? He fits on a ringside collectible stand. Would anybody ever have thought that? I never would have. Never would have thought so. But there it is, old Bam Bam Bigelow, Mr. Perfect, WWE Superstar Series 6. Two fabulous figures, two figures I'm definitely here for. Two all-timers for me. We know, I believe Mr. Perfect's in the Hall of Fame. I don't think Bam Bam's in the Hall of Fame yet. I hope maybe one of these years soon, Bam Bam gets into the Hall of Fame. Because at least in my opinion, definitely deserves his spot there. As one of the greatest big men of all time, no doubt about it. But a fun line continues. I'm here for it. Bring me all the superstars. Playing all the hits for me. I absolutely love this line. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? Do you love the line? You picking these up? You passing? You playing the long game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day. And then some. We've got even more content for you on Patreon, including early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. All going on over there on the old Patreon channel. Your best way to support this very YouTube channel. You can also support channel at ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Bam Bam Bigelow and Mr. Perfect, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.